Hello. I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys, which, as ever, as always, is for writers. Writers like you and me who use New Write on Macs, on iPhones and on iPads. I do subscribe or support 58 Keys on Patreon because there's always so much to talk about. And actually, just for once, just for once in a very long while, it's not all about Apple, not all about Apple gear. For In the last week, OK, Apple may have announced... As so quite surprising, a new iPad mini, but Amazon introduced a colour Kindle and a new Kindle scribe for you know, writing on and the faster Kindle Paperwhite. And, yeah, also less of a great deal on the kids' version of Kindle. I'll come back to it. You can't have everything, can you? Looking around me and, well, in the car and stuff, I think you're going to have to conclude that I haven't brought any of this stuff with me that I haven't actually got any of this stuff with me. It's true, I haven't got a single one of these new devices. So I'm not really going to be able to pretend to have vast years of experience with all of them, but I think you'd see through that anyway. What I would like to do, so, um, in an absolutely shocking, surprising twist, what I'm going to do then is take this from the start uh, for both you and me if we don't have any of these devices. If you're going to buy any of the new devices, what should it be? iPad mini. Oh, what happened to suspense, William? <laughs> All right then, okay, I've started. Let me let me deal with the iPad mini first, since, you know, clearly kind of like it. Uh, and actually, I think that it's ultimately, ultimately clearly the best option. The new iPad mini is uh, the seventh version of, uh, you know, this smaller iPad. Starts at 499 pounds or dollars, but what, what you get is an, an iPad. You get a, a wee little iPad with a gorgeous screen. And you can use it for any iPad apps, including both Kindle and Apple Books. Um, it's fast. Now, actually, talking about speed, OK, it kind of veers really closely to talking about specifications. And I'm j I, just, I just don't do that because I find them meaningless. I mean, you could quote to me a single core Geekbench figure for a device, and I suppose I could nod reasonably convincingly was that yeah but I can't feel it tell me a speed number and I just don't get it whereas I do get this the iPad mini any iPad is fantastically faster than any Kindle and if you're thinking well no device can make me read faster than I just happen to anyway or if you're thinking yet yeah, turning the page of a book that's not I mean it's not going to take an hour is it yeah well yeah you're right but Pressing a button on a Kindle can feel like it takes forever. When you press a button on a Kindle, it is routine to find yourself with enough time on your hands before anything at all happens, any reaction that you think you missed. And so you go press the button again. And here's the thing about that, I think. If you've never used an iPad, if you've only used Kindle, I think you, you get used to it. You know, it's never going to be faster, but you'll get used to it. Once you've used an iPad, though, well, I don't want to say it's night and day, but it's certainly morning and evening, the difference. Plus, I can't overemphasize that bit about the iPad mini running every iPad app. I, I can't overemphasize how gorgeous, actually, iPad screens are. And I can very easily under-emphasise one thing that Apple's actually pushing about this particular release of this particular device. Uh, it supports Apple intelligence when it comes. One important thing about the price, I mentioned 499 If you don't know or care about Apple intelligence, well, you could spend less and get the last iPad mini, the sixth version, from um, about £330 or dollars from Amazon if you hunt. And the same model is also there in the 400s. That's why I need to hunt. You keep looking and prices vary. But also more, kind of more consistently, there's the Apple refurbished store. And that typically has the last iPad mini from £379 or dollars. Yeah, I say typically. That refurb price is just what I've seen when I go to check. It changes. The, possibly more importantly, the availability changes. So the rule always with the refurb Apple store, link in the description if you don't happen to know it, is if you see something you like and you want, you buy it immediately. It might not be gone in an hour, but it will be, surely will be in a day. 
And then there's also this. Um, I sh should say this. The lower prices for the iPad Mini 6, they are the ones I've been seeing are for the base version. So it has Wi-Fi only. Uh, you have to spend more to get one that works you know, on your cellular, your, your mobile phone single, a single signal. And it also has the least amount of storage space. I mean, specifically with that iPad, it's 64 gigabytes. And that's not very good. When you look at Kindles, except maybe the Kindle Scribe, don't don't even bother reading the storage capacity options things because the cheapest is fine in the Kindle. But with an iPad, yeah, it's different. Mostly because no matter what you think you're buying it for, you think you're just buying it to read some books, you can do it can do so much more. You will use it to do so much more, and it all takes up space. The new iPad Mini that starts at 499 comes with twice that older space at 128 gigabytes. If I were buying one today, I'd feel happier with a 256 gigabyte, which is 599, but you get away with it. Kindles, so many Kindles. The entire range of Amazon Kindle devices has this week been reworked with some significant changes and one less significant, but actually a bit disappointing. I, yeah, let's go with that one first. There's, there is a version, right, of the Kindle that is specifically built for kids. Um, it comes with a free subscription to some, I don't know, some kids book thing or whatever. Uh, it also used to come with a free case. And the big thing of it for us as writers and readers was that you could buy this one, then turn off all the kids stuff and have a proper Kindle in a case for less than the price of any other model. Those days appear to be gone. Certainly now at launch, anyway. There's an important thing you always need to know about all Kindle pricing, almost all. For most Kindle models, Amazon will first offer you a cheaper version. A cheaper because it will include ads. Don't do it to yourself. At time of purchase, you save about $10 or £10, okay? But for the rest of your life, or the rest of the device's life anyway, you're going to get an ad on the screen every time you pick the thing up. Click on the without ads version. In fact, actually, I'm only going to mention to you the without ads price because that's the only price to pay. If you have any regard for your sanity and you have £10. So, um, always a price without ads. Always the least storage unless you fancy more. Or you're getting a Kindle Scribe, because uh, a Kindle Scribe is one you write on. It means you'll be adding your own documents as well as, as, well as reading books. So maybe more there. So, kids isn't the bargain it was, it's the same as a regular Kindle, uh, which means they're both actually the cheapest one, and that's the big selling point of Amazon Kindle, it's the cheapest. There's still also the new Kindle Paperwhite, uh, that I think was the best overall, and it too has now been updated, and there's the new one, the Colour Kindle for the first time. Um, the Colour one is called the Kindle Colorsoft Signature Edition. And if you have any experience with um, Amazon devices in general, or, or you have, or actually if you have any experience reading books, I think you've done a bit of that, then I think you're either going to be thinking, hmm, colour, yeah, or you're thinking, colour? Previous colour Amazon devices, you know, like browsers and iPad equivalents, well, they've been colour, yeah, but just about, kind of muddy, a bit unclear, a bit rubbish. And, you know, the majority of books have black text on a white background. It's not like they go big on colour, really. Apparently, though, and from what I can see about it so far, because it's not actually shipping yet, the new Kindle Colorsoft, the colours are paler. They are nicer. That doesn't change the inside of the books. But to be fair, actually, this has always been the bit I don't like about my Kindle Paperwhite. I mean, it switches off. You saw briefly there, it's, it's only monochrome, right? But it, there's something about it. It makes me think of, sort of like cheap newspaper images. Um, all Kindles, by the way, do officially show you more than books. I should say that as well. They do, all include, they do all include, well, a kind of web browser. And I suppose colour would improve those, at least in theory. But no. when I say it's a kind of a web browser, it's not the kind you'd use because they are poor. Oh, in a pinch, maybe. So, okay, colour isn't essential. Colour doesn't add a great deal to the Kindle, but I think it does add to it. I think it does make Kindle better. It's got to be up to you, though, up to you and up to me, whether it's worth to us the £270 or dollars that this Kindle Colorsoft Signature Edition costs. 
two more Kindle devices. One in very little detail, because I don't know much about it, and then we're done. Let's do the very little detail one first. The new Kindle Scribe. I bought the last one, um, was that a year ago, just every year? The first version, but I returned it. I don't like returning things. Actually, it feels very ungreen. Actually, but the device, it just it wasn't up to anything. Uh, you could watch my full 58 Keys video about it, but actually that original device, the software in it has been updated so much that I, I, I don't think my video would be fair anymore. I mean, it's roughly, it's not wrong, but it's not fair. Um, and also, obviously, it wouldn't tell you anything about the new version. I think the new version has a nicer design physically, and within a book you can now scribble all over someone else's work, like mad, if you must. There's going to be, more you sleep, the ability to make more notes in the margin, but apparently that's coming in a software update later. Don't know when. There's also some AI, some artificial intelligence, because of course there is. What this seems to do, AI on Kindle Scribe, it seems to chiefly do, it looks like it takes your handwriting, you writing in your notes, and turns into something more readable. But this isn't like Apple's thing on iPads of smoothing out your own handwriting. It instead replaces yours entirely. It replaces your hand scroll with an existing handwriting font. Okay. AI on Kindle Scribe also summarizes what you've written in case you haven't read what you've just written. The new Kindle Scribe costs from £329 or dollars. Right then, last one. I can't say anything for last for a reason. The Kindle Paperwhite. I've put this last because I think it was the best Kindle. I mean, overall, like the best combination of features, design, and, and for the price. And as much, oh yeah, I would like it to have colour. I think looking at the new details, Paperwhite is still the best option. Uh, Kindle Paperwhite starts at £169.99 or dollars. And what's new in the 2024 version is that it is reportedly faster. Remember what I said about how um, Kindles just can't touch iPads for speed. And, and this isn't like you get there with a stopwatch. The difference is you really notice that. But, you know, when it turns out, oh, it's actually it's turned back on. I have a Kindle Paperwhite and the speed is OK. So a faster version is going to at least be OK. Uh, which means, I think, given the price, given that neat little form factor, given that I, I don't seem to be going back to note-taking on a Kindle Scribe, the Kindle Paperwhite is the one I would buy. Except I'm not buying it. That wasn't meant to be so melodramatic. The real reason I'm not buying any of the new Kindle devices is I've just spent up. You know, I just bought a new iPhone and a new Apple Watch. And OK, uh, money aside, practicality is the iPhone that's making me hesitate it's still a bit of a new toy but I have an iPhone 16 Pro Max now and it has actually replaced my 11 inch iPad quite a surprising amount I mean it's a smaller screen and a much larger price but as well as buying any one device right I think now I'm, I'm really considering this we have to work out how each one fits into our life I haven't read anything on my Kindle Paperwhite in a month but uh, I want to, two nights ago, actually, I did finish reading a script back on the iPad, mostly because the iPhone's battery had finally died. Oh, my. Anyway, it's a very good time to be a reader, isn't it? And, yeah, you know, since you're a writer, you're a reader. It's a very good time for us. It's probably, just thinking about this, also a good time to be Amazon or Apple, as new shiny devices come out well in time for Christmas and the holidays. I'm sure that's, that's just a coincidence isn't it? That's it for this edition of 58 Keys. But I have one last thing to tell you, if I may. From Monday, November the 4th, uh, 2024, the new 58 Keys writing workshop videos begin. It's, it's the second, hang on, it's the second 58 Keys video of the week. So naturally it comes first on Monday. 58 Keys continues to be every Wednesday, as it has for four years now. But the new 58 Keys writing workshop videos will come out on Mondays. So come out on Mondays at 7 p.m. UK time every week. And I can tell you, I'm, I'm making them at the moment. I'm actually, I'm really pleased with the ones I've made so far. Yeah, fine, but they're also going to need you. 58 Keys Writing Workshop begins as a video where I tell you how I 
happen to write something, but then they have to. They have to continue in the comments where you disagree with me, really. I mean, it's important. Let's work this together. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care of yourself. Write more, and I'll see you soon.